Hey you guys, I'm not normally up right now doing a live, um, but I wanted to get on here because so much has been going through my mind, so much has been going through my spirit, so much just has been going through, and it's not a bad thing. If y'all see me cry some tears, just know that I'm not sad. I'm not like in despair. I just am just emotional and full of what God is doing through me, what he's doing through me. And um, honestly, I I didn't really get on tonight for um, anybody to agree to be politically correct or even for anybody to really you know, um, be, I don't know, in agreement with, with the way that I do this live. I really got on because I just wanted to share. And, um, for the last past couple of days, you know, I've been dreaming and dreaming and I've been having dreams and I've been having more dreams. And I'm like, God, just give me an understanding. My spirit is full. I'm shaking a little bit because my spirit is full. And, um, I was going to do a video um, for my YouTube, um, but I guess I'll just share this to YouTube because the Holy Spirit told me to go live. And so um, I've just been so full and I've been filled with so many things. And um, I actually just got finished watching a live and, you know, um, they just were saying just be thankful for the things that did not happen. And right now in this moment, I just want to thank God for just everything. Just everything, you know, um, me as a person, I believe what I believe, you know, um, I know that God speaks to me and I know that, you know, he talks to me and I know that he walks with me and I know that he, you know, will continue to walk with me every step of the way. And remember, I say, if, if y'all see tears, I'm not crying because I'm in despair. And I'm not crying because I'm weary. No, I'm, I'm, I'm crying because I'm full. And when you spend, spend time with God, you are full. When you spend time with God, you give him the opportunity to pour into you in ways that you've never been poured into before. And me as an individual... I'm sorry, guys. I should have put some tissue. Me as an individual, I am so passionate about being on the side of right, you know. And I, I'm like, God, you know, it's so many people who have their own opinions and ideas of what God really wants of them and what he requires when his word says so much. And it really gives you the steps as to how to live a righteous life. And he's not looking for you to be perfect. Y'all, I'm not perfect. I fall short of the glory of God on a constant, on a constant. But I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know that it is okay to be full. It is okay to give God time. And as I continue to go along my walk, it's like I just want more of him and more and more and more and more. And I've been praying lately. You know, and I've been asking God just to give me understanding and give me wisdom and to give me clarity on things and to, you know, just, just do things, you know. And my spirit is, you know, it's like, hey, you know, God, I just want that outpour. The flesh, you know, can get weak, but for so many things and, and we give so many things time and we get so much time to people who don't deserve our time and just being in the presence of God and spending time with him it's like God you know you don't have to tell people what you're doing you don't have to tell them that you are that you've been with the Lord you don't have to tell them that you're fasting you don't have to tell them that you're praying for them or that you're praying period what I know is is that you know in that time, though, when you do give him time, you can't help but to feel his presence. You know, I know that there is a shift going on. And I know that in the shift that's going on within the universe, in the shift that's going on within the spirit realm, that God is doing something in me. 
He's doing something, hates everybody coming in. He's doing something in me so powerful that I can't even, I can't even fathom it. I don't, I don't, right now where he has me, I can't really explain. But what I do know is that I want to be used by him. And what I do know is that I want to be, I, I want to be available and I want to be more available. And so I take the time out to say, God, I'm available to you at 1228 at night. I could be sleeping in my bed in the morning. I know I got to get up with Hannah Banana and do school, but I'm like, God, I just want more of you. What you're doing in this season, I don't want you to do it without me. Have you found yourself in places going back and forth saying, Lord, I don't want, and I'm talking to the Christian. I'm talking to the believer, not the believer. I mean, not the Christian. I'm talking to the believer because as a Christian, we are considered to be so many different things. But as a believer, there are some things that you can do and there's some things that you can't do. And I'm like, God, I don't want to live my standard. God, I don't want to live the standard of the world. I want to live the standard of you. And if that means that people will hate me, that's fine. If that means people talk a good game. But what happens when you are actually in a place where God's like, I want to do this in you and I want to do this through you and... These are the people that I want you to minister to. And you need to understand that this is something that you might go through. You might not be liked for this. You might be set apart for this. But I'm like, God, I have been set apart all my life. I have been called weird all my life. And I'm like, God, I just want what you want for me. It's like after you've done this and after you've done that and after you've done this and after you've done that. You're like, that's old. I don't want to do that. I don't, I, I might not fit in. You might call me an old bitty. That's fine. But I just really desire and I long to be in your presence and I long to be in your will and I long, you know, to have the things that you want for me. You know, the blessings of the Lord make it rich and add of no sorrow and, and in him, in, in God. There is fullness of joy in it and at his right hand and pleasures forevermore. And I'm like, God. You've been using me, you've been using me, and I haven't really been speaking on certain things. And it, I know that God is revealing and he's unleashing uh, uh, things in the spirit realm, but not only in the spirit realm, he's trying to manifest things in the natural realm because the shift that is taking place, what happens is, you know, you can't be the same you that was then because what he's doing now requires a new you so that means it requires a new level i don't know who this is for but it requires a new level it, it requires uh, um, um more more availability it, it requires more more uh, uh stability it requires you know a uh, 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 more consistency it requires so much more it requires late nights and early mornings getting up and, and seeking the face of god not asking him for what you can get for him but asking him lord what can i do for you because you've done so much and even if you don't do anything else you've already done enough and that's where god has me i'm at a place where god even if you don't do anything else, you have already done enough. I I have done so many things. I've I've got married. I've had kids. I've I've had sex outside of marriage. E even in my most recent times, and, and these things I'm not perf I, I'm not proud of. I'm really not, but I'm pouring out to you to let you know that I'm human just like you, but I'm being perfected through Yah on a constant, and as he continues to make me and mold me, you're going to see a new me, and this might not be a you that you recognize, and I'm okay with that. It might be a, a me that I don't even recognize, and I'm okay with that as long as I'm doing what that said, Yah. I'm telling you, I'm not going to agree with everything. I'm not going to agree with everything that everybody is doing and everything that everybody is saying. That's not who I am. I am at the place where if it seem wrong, then it's wrong. If it seem right, then it's right. I don't want to be calling wrong, right, and right, wrong. No, and this is what society has led to. This is what the government system has led us to. And not to go off into a government system and this. No, 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 no. I'm talking about... Who are you really serving? What do you really want? What side do you really stand on? Because God's been tugging on my heart space because when you draw closer to him, he draws closer to you. And when you get out all of the clutter that you hear on a on a regular daily basis, this is why I don't watch the news so much. And I'm not just secluding it to the news. I mean life in general. And you give God your time and you meditate on the word day and night. What happens is 
he becomes more louder and everything else begins to fade. And so in my time, everything else is fading now. Like I, I, I don't, I, I don't really quite hear as loud all of these other things as much as I'm hearing him. And I know that as I continue to find myself in him and find myself through him, he's going to continue to perfect me. And so he's been tugging on my heart space, you guys. And and I've been praying and I've been saying, God, Lord, I give all of my gifts back to you. I give all of my gifts back to you. I have gifts that you've given me that I, I didn't ask for. I have gifts that you've given me that, that I didn't know that you were going to give. I have gifts that you've given me that I haven't even tapped into yet. But God, I just want to say thank you. I give my gifts back to you, God. I give my children back to you. I, I was just sitting on the bed and I just was like, Lord, I thank you for allowing me to be a mom. I thank you for allowing me to, to, to struggle because when you bless me on a level in which my heart desires, not just my heart, but on a level in which you really want for me to go, I will be ready. And in this time, I remember when I was a little girl and I used to be like, God, don't bless me with what you want me to have and until I align myself with you the way that you want. And I didn't know what I was praying then. And it's so crazy because my life has been up and it's been down and it's been up and it's been down and it's been up and it's been down. And these days I'm finally understanding the fullness of that prayer. Because God will give you what you ask for. And I used to ask that all of the time. And I'm like, God. And then as I got old, as I've gotten older, it's like, man, I'm ready now. And I thought that I was ready in those moments, but I wasn't really ready. I wasn't really ready. Just like I thought I was ready to get married in those moments, but I wasn't really ready. Just like I thought a lot of different things, but I wasn't ready. And God has a way of showing you when you're ready. And in this moment, I just want to bless God and I just want to give him honor and I just want to honor his presence in my life. And I want to honor him for what he is and who he is in my life. And I, I, my prayer is to sit at his feet and, and, to, and to get all I can and to can all I get. It's something about hearing the voice of God. I'm telling you, it's like no other. It's something about sitting at the feet of Jesus. I don't know about all of these other gods, but what I do know is that my God's not dead, but he's yet alive. And, and I believe that he died, and I believe that he rose, and I believe that if you accept him into, his, into your heart, that your life would never be the same. And even though it may seem like, you know, uh, it's all glitz and glam when you're coming in, no, that's when the fight gets harder, y'all. That's when the fight gets harder. That's when the fight gets harder. I've been saved and I've been filled with the Holy Ghost for a long time. I received the gift of the Holy Ghost when I was 11 years old. And I'm telling you, when, when God gave me that gift, that was the best thing he could ever do for me. That was the best thing that I could ever have. One thing that I thank my parents for is introducing me to God. At an early age, because in this time today, we're going to need prayer. We're going to need fasting. We're going to need warriors that are true. Those worshipers that will worship God in spirit and in truth. God don't need no weary warriors. He don't need no warriors that's scared and afraid to fight the Goliaths of this world, amongst other things. He don't need those people that's going to be scared to go into the fiery furnace. He don't need those people that are going to be scared to go into the lions. Then he don't need those people who are going to lie to the Holy Ghost dead in front of his face. He don't need those people. And y'all, I'm like, God, I've seen so much. I've seen so much and the church has been so broken. But not only has the church been so broken, the church has welcomed so many things in. And yes, the church as a body. But as, 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 individual, as individuals, because when I look back over my life and I see all of the things that I allow my temple to experience. This is the temple of God. Our bodies are temples of God. I don't know why I'm crying. And maybe this is God using me for this because I, I wasn't going to go in that direction. But our bodies are temples. And for a long time, I didn't see myself as the temple that God saw me as. 
And I don't know who this is for, but what I do know is, is that you are valuable. You are not just valuable to a man or valuable to a woman or valuable to your children or valuable to whomever your work. You are valuable to God. He sees you as a divine masterpiece. He sees you as a part of him. When you accepted him, he saw you as such. And so I didn't always know that of myself. I can recall myself having low self-esteem. It does not matter how pretty you are. When you are at low places in life, and we all have low places. Everybody has different places in their lives. But we go through things not for ourselves. We go through things for other people. And what I, I thank God for is allowing me to be able to grow through those moments to become whole through Him. And as I continue to understand what it is to really be valuable and to really understand what it is to be uh, 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 to be um, consecrated for a time where somebody who who is just as valuable as I am, who holds the same value as I do, if not a greater value until the time, our temples are so valuable, you guys. And you know how you tainted your, you know, only you know how you tainted your temple. I know how I tainted my temple. And what I want to, what I want to let you know is our God is forgiven. Even though we've taken our temples through something, guess what? Hey buddy, even though we've taken our temples through things, God still does not hold us to those things. He's a forgiving God. I was looking in the word the other day. Y'all, I was looking in the word the other day. And the Bible gives you direct instruction for whatever it is that you need. Why do you think that they don't want us to read it? Why do you think that they want to take prayer, that they've taken prayer out of the schools, prayer out of the government system, prayer out of probably even the church? They've taken prayer out of so many different places, whether the government has said to take it out or not. There hasn't been prayer in the household. Our men are not are not our men anymore. They're becoming feminized. Men are becoming women and women are becoming women. Men they are calling right, wrong, and wrong, right. And I guess I'm crying because this is the heart of God. God is like, what's going on with my people? And and I've been doing videos on YouTube and he's been dealing with me about his judgment coming, y'all. And, and what I what I know is when God says a thing, that's it. His word is sure. And when he starts doing what he's doing, he's not going to stop for nobody. And when he begins to judge, you're either going to be on the side of right or the side of wrong. And then you have to choose you this day who you're going to serve. Because at this point, this is like a God says warning, but for destruction. He says warning, but for destruction, y'all. And. I just, I don't, I don't know how he's going to judge. I don't know which way he's coming. I don't know when it's going to happen and what it's going to look like. But what I do know is that our God judges righteously. He, he is a righteous God. So if you're doing wrong, he's going to judge you for your wrongdoing. If you know the way and you choose not to continue to do, I mean, and you choose not to do right, He's going to judge you accordingly. If you if you doing right and you continue to do right, keep doing right because he's going to judge you for that. And I just want you to understand that God is a God that's merciful and his grace is sufficient. But our God gets tired too. Our God, our God gets tired too. And I need you to understand that this fight that we're fighting is fixed. But God's heart is crying out because he's about to judge and he's about to judge right, righteously. And he wants you to get your temples in order. He wants the backslider to come back home. He wants the person who's been hurt and broken to become whole through his word. He wants the person who never knew him to get to know him. He wants that, y'all. And my heart is going out to the people. And I ask God all the time, Lord, give me a heart like yours. And that's a major prayer to pray. But not only to give me a heart like yours, but help me to see people the way that you see them. Because the world is going to see you the way that the world sees you. But the way that God sees you, that's like no other. 
And he would never change his mind. Yes, he will never change his mind. All the great and mighty things he has in store for us. This is great awakening. Absolutely. It's separating time. No more in between. It's Yes, that's what I'm It's no more in between. And the thing about it is I'm like, God. I don't I don't wanna be I don't wanna be that hypocritical Christian. I can say that I've ran away from my calling many and many and many a times. And I've run away because I did not want the responsibility. I did not want the responsibility of somebody saying, Oh, you're a leader, you're not supposed to be doing that, but it's the accountability. And when you can accept the responsibility, you reach a level of maturity. In the spirit. And and when God when God sees that you honor him in such a way, even through your temple, he gives you more responsibility because he knows that he can count on you. And the question is, is can he count on you? And if he can't count on you, what are you doing to change so that he can count on you? And I don't I, I mean I'm just asking God to continue to have his way. I thank him and I bless him and I give my life to him. Y'all, if y'all see me falling off by the wayside in any way, say, Danny, we need you to get back on track. But as far as I know, I've already been there and I've already done that. And I'm just like, Lord, I'm not saying that I'm exempt from things of this world. I'm not saying that. And as much as given, as much as required. But I do know that he's elevating me. And where he's taking me, I want to go. I don't want to run anymore. I don't want to be like, oh no, I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to be like, oh no, that should not be a standard. No, Jesus Christ is the ultimate standard. Love thy neighbor as thyself. How can you love a God that you've never seen, but hate your brother and your sister that you see every day? How can you get up there on the pulpit and preach and, and all of these different things and live any kind of way? I've done that. And I don't want to do that anymore. And, I'm, and, and I'm, I'm saying these things not because I didn't get these things right with God. But I'm saying these things because it's somebody that's been there too. It's somebody that's there now. It's somebody that, that really, 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 really needs to hear this. And the thing about it is, like I said, I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm not crying because I'm weary. I'm crying because I'm sharing the heart of the Father. I'm crying because I'm grateful. I'm crying because I know where he's taking me is so much better than where I've been. I'm crying because as a little girl, I pray the prayer of God. Don't bless me with what it is that you want me to have until I align myself with what it is that you want. And now I fully understand that prayer. And now I'm fully ready to align myself with what it is. And I'm not saying that I'm going to be perfect. I'm not saying that I'm going to dot every I and cross every T. But what I am saying is, God, I'm willing. I'm willing. I'll come to you with a broken spirit and a contrary heart. I'll come to you with all that I have. And see, the thing about it is, when you think that you can't go to God, that's the perfect time to go to him. That's the perfect time to go to him. When you think that you're not doing something, when you think that you're not doing enough, that's the perfect time. Because God's like, I can use you. I can use you. And he's looking for willing vessels. He's looking for people that will worship him in spirit and in truth. In this season and in this time, there have been so many people that have been acknowledging Christ with their lips and their hearts be far from him. But today I stand here to say that choose ye this day who you going to serve. You can't serve two masters. He said you either be hot or cold, lukewarm, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. That's what he said. And one thing that I know is that God, he never falls short of his word and he doesn't change his mind. And then I also know that the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail much. And my prayer, I, I pray all the time. I pray daily. You should always have a prayer on your lips. You should always have a prayer on your lips. Y'all, even, even in my imperfections. If you are not convicted for the wrong that you do, you're in a dangerous place. 
I don't know who this is for. If you are not convicted for the sin that you do, you are at a dangerous place. Because what happens is you are messing around on wrong territory. You are messing around on the territory of the enemy for him to creep in in any way that you can. You can because what happens is the enemy cannot just use anybody. The enemy used the, the vessels that let him in little by little. The enemy uses the vessels that are willing. The enemy uses the vessels that say, well, I'm going to just do it just a little bit. I'm going to just try a little bit. Those are who he uses because the enemy needs. And so and his imps, they need a vehicle. So sometimes you are being used, whoever this is for, sometimes a person is being used and they don't even know that they're being used because they uh, they had a crack in the door and they let them in and they don't know how they got all the way over here and they started here. I, I can just do that a little bit. And in this season, I'm standing here to let you know, you can't do it a little bit anymore. You can't just put a toe in. You can't just put the head in, excuse me, for those people who are adults. You know what I mean. You can't just do that anymore. And I don't mean to be explicit, but for some people, that may be the only way they understand. You can't just do that anymore. Because one thing leads to something else, leads to something else, leads to something else. And one thing that I know, if God has given you so many opportunities and so many chances, guess what? Eventually, his mercy can run out. And guess what? When you do a thing, if you don't, if you, if you don't have any convic conviction and you continue to do a, do a thing, do you know that whatever you release and you take back and then you release it and then you take it back and then you release it and then you take it back? Guess what? There are spirits that come seven times stronger than what it was before it, before you left it. And so what God has graced somebody else to get out of, God may not grace you for that. I don't know who that's for. But what I do know that is, is that it's time and God is about to judge righteously. And I don't know where your heart stands today, but if your heart is not at a place of gratitude, if your heart is not at a place of conviction, if your heart is not at a place for God, I live for God, I die. This is not for the Christian. This is for the true believer. If you are a believer or this is for the person who wants to be a believer, this is for the person who has backslid, who may feel like God won't accept me like this. No, he wants you to run to him. Why? Because he loves, he's married to you. God says, I'm married to the next side. And this is what he said. You can't get away from that. You can't get away from that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to badger y'all any, any longer. But what I know is, and this is the scripture that God has given me. I'm sorry, y'all. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff that comforts me. He anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. I might have skipped the verse. Hold on. I'm going to read it right here, right now, with the Bible in front of me. The Lord is my shepherd. He is my God. He is my Lord. And I shall not want. I lack nothing in him. So in him is fullness. It's everything that you need. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He with me. He's with me every step of the way. It don't matter where I go. I can go up and I can go down. He's leading me. If you want to be led, he will lead you. Besides the still water, he restored my soul. He restores. He never throws you away. But what he does is he replenishes you from where you were to where you're going. So that so that the thoughts that you've had, the wants that you had, the desires that you've had, you now have the thoughts and desires of him. He leadeth me in the past, past, the past of righteousness for his name's sake, so that he can get the glory. He leads you to him and he gives you the desires of his heart so that you can want those things so that his name can be glorified amongst men, y'all. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the, the valleys of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For that you have no reason to fear because he's with you. His rod and his staff comforts you. 
I mean, who who wouldn't want to be protected by a God that com- that that leads you, guides you? He never he never leaves you by yourself. He comforts you when you're when you're weary, when you're broken, when you're brokenhearted, whatever place you're in. He comforts you. So that means you don't have to fear any evil. The evil in this world, it might look like you should be afraid of it. No, you ain't got no need. Because he protects you, he comforts you. For thou art with me, thou rod and thy step that comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He even prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Do you know that when you're with him, it's people plotting on your on your on your downfall? When you with him, it's people that don't want you to come up. It's like, well, why she get blessed? Why he get blessed? What? Do you know the life that I'm about to live? It's going to be the life that my father felt like I should have. Because I started aligning myself with his word. I started aligning myself with his way. I started aligning myself with his thoughts. So now I'm doing things in alignment with what he wanted for me all along. And now that he he can do something so good in me where I'm able to share that with the next person. Okay. Thou anointest my head with oil. I'm anointed for this. I was anointed to go through. I was anointed to get through. I was anointed to rise. I was anointed. And I'm still anointed and so are you. You might have backslid, but guess what? You were anointed for your call. And so now it's time for you to take up your royal place in the kingdom because you got work to do. Surely goodness. Now hold on. That anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Now that I am in his will, I am in his presence. I know that he protects me. I know that he guides me. I know that he keeps me. I know that he's there for me. I know that he's with me. My cup runneth over. My cup runneth over. Not only am I anointed for this, but I'm about to get an overflow. And I'm anointed for this. And you protect me. And you keep me. And you got me. And you lead me. Come on now. Surely goodness and mercy shall fall. And then you telling me surely goodness and mercy shall continue to follow me. And you preparing the table before me in the presence of my enemies too. And my cup running over. Come on now. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the presence of the Lord, there are, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are ple- pleasures forevermore. I'm telling you, you cannot beat God's giving. When you choose to be on the path of right, I promise you, God is about to judge righteously. And he's looking for those people who will worship him in spirit and in truth. He is looking for those people that comes to him broken with a broken spirit and a contrary heart. He's looking for those people that will surrender and submit their 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 will for his He's looking for those people to say, Lord, I've sinned and I fall short of your glory. God, I'm not perfect, but use me. God, I want to be on the side of right. He's looking for those people. He's looking for those people that will worship him in spirit and in truth. He's looking for those people to say, Lord, you know, I don't doubt every eye and cross every T, but show me thy ways, oh God, that I might not sin against you. He's looking for those people. He's looking for those people who will hold the word as a standard and not just say, oh, this is my Bible. Oh, he's not looking for those people that will take communion on Sunday, but then go back and and then and then do whatever it is that they will. No, he's looking for those people who are going to be let your yay be yay and let your nay be nay. He's looking for those people. In this season, he's looking for those people. And you have to ask yourself, am I one of those people? Can God trust me? Can he trust me? Can God trust you? Can he trust you? And I've been at the place where I'm like, God, well, you know, I was teeter-tottering. I don't want to teeter-totter anymore. This is not teeter-tottering season. Do you not know that there has been a great shift on the earth? Do you know that there's a great shift going on in the spirit realm? Do you know that God is about to judge righteously? Do you not know these things? If you don't know, you need to wake up. You need to get into your prayer closet. You need to go down into the Holy Spirit. You need to pray into your heavenly language. And you need to wait for him to respond. Don't just be down there asking God for stuff. No, this is not the season. This is not the time for that. This is not the season. This is not the time. 
We do a lot of things. We, we, we make time for a lot of things. But God's like, just give me your time. Clutter out your mind. Clear your mind. See what's going on around you. Understand that they're calling right, wrong, and wrong, right. But look at my word because my word is sure. And it never returns into me void. It never returns into me void. Everything that you need. How to live. A kingdom marriage. Ten commandments that start there. Thou shall not. I mean, seriously, it's so much. When you enter into his, his into his presence, you give him praise automatically. He said, Enter into my into my gates with thanksgiving and into my courts with praise. You start saying, God, I thank you for what you're doing. God, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for all that you're doing, all that you're going to do. Lord, I bless your name, oh God. You've been more than good. You've been better to me than I've been to myself. You've shown yourself strong, God. You've come through like a mighty rushing wind, God. You've looked over my family, God. You continue to bless me even when I didn't deserve it. God, you've given me, oh God, even though I don't deserve it. God, you're still using me even though I don't deserve it. When you give God that... Oh, you got to know that he's going to give you something back. When you speak to him, he will speak to you. And I promise you, God will do something that, that eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard. And neither has it entered into the hearts of men. The great things that God has in store for you. For, for those that love him. For those that love him, y'all. I don't know why God is taking me here. But I feel him in this moment because what God is doing. He is giving the people an opportunity to get it right before judgment. Judgment is coming. And, and for him to put, pull on my spirit the way that he is and the way that he does, it comes from being available to him. It comes from being open to him. It comes from being in my prayer space. It comes from having a prayer constantly on my lips. It comes from fasting. It comes from getting into the word. It comes from not just asking him for something, but listening. You pray. Don't just pray and pray amiss because you can do that. Don't be loud. Uh, uh, um, don't be as sounding brass and tinkling cymbals to God. No. Be a sweet smell and fragrance. Live a life that's pleasing. Look like something to him. Don't go. Me as a person. Because I know I'm not perfect. I like to do what I'm supposed to do and, and, and talk to the Father. Just like I would talk to my Father or talk to somebody else. Before I start asking them for stuff, you like, God, you know, I love you. I, I appreciate you. I welcome you into my space. I know I haven't done good, God, all the time. Look at David. He wasn't perfect, but he had a heart for him. He had a heart after God's heart. God can do something with that. And then when you when you do that, then you say, God, you know, I desire this and I desire that, God. And I know you already know my needs. You already know what I desire in my heart. But the same way you're asking something of God, understand that he's asking and he's requiring something of you. Of you. What are you willing to give? What are you willing to give? Y'all, I don't look at this message as a warning. This is a warning. This is a warning. This is a warning. This is a warning. Judgment is coming. Be thankful. Show forth gratitude. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I appreciate you. I love on you. I, I adore you. Understand that you are the only way. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the light. And no man can get to the Father but through the Son. This is the Word. This is the Word. They got this new age religion. Yes, I... There have been times, and sometimes I still do acknowledge the universe, but I acknowledge the universe because the, even the universe has to, even the universe, even the universe has to acknowledge God's voice. Even the universe. He created the universe. Within the six days, the, the seven days, that, no, the six days that he created everything else, and he rested on the seventh day. So at the, at the mention of his name, Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. At the mention of his... So, so if you acknowledge whatever you acknowledge, understand that the earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof and those and they that dwell therein. So that means you are his. I am his. Whatever you need is his. 
Everything you ask for is his. The universe is his. That house that you live in is his. That car that you live in is I'm driving is his. That job that you have is his. That money that you spend is his. And at the drop of a dime, at the blink of an eye, he can take it all away. All away. God is like, ah, it is not my will that any man should perish. But I want you to be in good health. And I want you to prosper. Even as your soul prosper. He wants that for you. He wants that for me. And it's so crazy because I was praying those prayers as a little girl. God, don't bless me with what you want for, for me. The ultimate until I'm aligned with your will. And here we are. Here I am. I run no more. I don't want to run anymore for no reason. I don't need a title to know that I am chosen by Yah. Many a call but few chose. I don't need a title for that. God's not even into all of the titles. That's the church folk. I'm talking to the believer. I'm not talking to the Christian. I'm talking to the believer. And what one thing that I know is, as a believer, you, you are sensitive to the voice in the heart of God. Even and even if you haven't been living such a perfect life, your conviction, your conviction. Gives you a sense of sensitivity to the spirit. And if you're not sensitive to the spirit. My God. Thank you. Thank you Leland. My God. If you're not sensitive to the spirit of God. What are you doing? This is not the time. And even though this is not a political video. This is not a political video. I got some other videos coming. <clears throat> but even though this is not a political video, understand that what we welcome into office, understand that what we welcome into office, if it bumps up against the word, it ain't right. It just ain't right. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. That's just it. That's all we teach our kids that. Right is right. And wrong is wrong. You, you don't wait until you get to an adult to, to fit the scriptures and alter the scriptures to fit your personal needs. No. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Homosexuality is wrong. I love y'all. But homosexuality is wrong. Uh, uh, being addicted. Uh, fornication is wrong. Uh, 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 adultery is wrong. You know, abortion is wrong. Been there too. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It is wrong. It's just wrong, y'all. You cannot fit a square into a peg hole. It's wrong. Thank you. God bless you. Love y'all so much. It's just wrong. And I don't care in this season, in this season. And I, people say it. People say it. Oh, I don't care what people think about me. I really don't care. I, I really don't care. Because if it does not please God, if it's not edifying, I don't care. Because at the end of the day, who am I trying to please? At the end of the day, who do I have to prove something to? It definitely ain't man. Because man can't give me nothing. Man can't, man, man gonna let me down. Man gonna tell me wrong is right and right is wrong. But my words gonna still stand. This is something that won't change. And I, I hear people say, well, the Bible's been altered. Well, if you feel like the Bible has been altered, guess what I want you to do? I want you to get down on your knees and build a relationship with the Most High. He will speak to you that way too. And he will use whatever it is. And, and, and the more you go in and you kneel down on your face, I mean, kneel down on your knees and you continue to be on your face to him, guess what? I promise you, he will speak to you. So if you feel this ain't right, oh, he going to show you. He going to show you. Oh, Okay. So you're not going to test my word. Okay, well, test me then. That's how my God works. That's how he works. He, he straight cut dry. He ain't, he, he ain't all this. J Jesus, he didn't hang with the church folk. That ain't who Jesus hung with neither. Jesus hung with the people. He he hung. He said, even if you do, even if you do these things unto the least of them, so have you done it unto me. So that was saying, even if you've done it to the imperfect people, the people, the people who aren't so awesome and grandiose, whatever you do to them, understand you're doing it to me too. 
And I need you to understand that God was amongst the people that weren't perfect. He was amongst the people that weren't perfect. So I need you to understand that even in all of your imperfect imp, imperfection and your unperfect self, God can do something with you if you have a broken spirit and a contrary heart. He can do something with that. You ain't got to be perfect for him to do something. But just give him what you got. Don't come to him with pride because that ain't going to get you in. You humble yourself. Humble yourself but for him. And say, God, I've fallen short of your glory. Or God, I didn't believe that you existed because I'm sure I don't know who's going to view this video. God, I, I, don't, I, I, I didn't believe you, would even, you were even true. Or you got the ones that say, God, I didn't believe that you can forgive me for this sin. God can do whatever it is that you don't limit him. Take the limits off. And then once you are in him, that same you, when you was in the world, you bring that same adoration. You bring that same zeal. You bring that same momentum. You bring that into the kingdom and you go hard for God. Go hard for him. Because I promise you, he's going to go hard for you. He did it at the cross. He did it at the cross. Y'all, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I really just came in here to worship. I really did. Worship turned into to a whole church sermon. Apparently, that's where God wanted me to go. But I bless God. I bless God. I bless God. I bless you, God. I honor you, God. I love on you, God. You are holy, God. You are righteous, God. You are magnificent, God. There is no other God before you. There is no other God like you. God, you sit at the right hand of the Father. And I thank you, Yeshua. I thank you, oh God. Because you are mighty, God. You are worthy. You are worthy in all of your way. He's worthy. And mighty are the works of his hands. He said, greater works shall we be doing here on this earth. If you are a believer, you should be doing greater works. And he did some mighty works. He's done some mighty works. And if you haven't seen it yet, then you need to stay in his face. You need to adoration and praise. You need to stay in his face. I'm going to say a prayer and I'm going to let y'all go. I love y'all. Share this video with somebody because somebody needs it. Somebody will need it if you just come in. Lord, allow the people who are supposed to hear it to hear it. Don't allow it to fall upon deaf ears, but allow it to, to fall on the ears that needs to hear it, God. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, oh God. I thank you for this word, God. I thank you for this message, God. I thank you for opportunity. I thank you for this platform, God. God, because once upon a time, there was no platform for me to even be able to speak, oh God, out in such a way. I thank you for the spirit of boldness, God. I thank you, oh God, for the authority that you've given on the inside of me to speak to your people in such a way, oh God, because of who you are in me, God. It is of no mercy and of no goodness of my own. I am a nobody, God. But you are everything, oh God. And I praise you and I worship you. God, I ask that you move like never before, God. God, I ask that you continue to bless, oh God. Bless your people for the, their obedience as they move according to the word that you've given and spoke, God. God, I ask that you continue to bless their households, oh God. Meet the needs where the need shall be, God. You know all things, oh God. God, I ask that you save, oh God. I ask that you heal, deliver, and set free, oh God. God, you know all about it, oh God. I ask that you allow, oh God. God, the people, oh God, to see wrong for what it is and to see right for what it is, oh God. God, I ask that you allow the people, oh God, to have a zeal for you again, God. Save, oh God. Deliver and set free, God. I ask that you fill the people with your Holy Ghost, oh God, with the utterance of speaking in other tongues, oh God, to acknowledge, oh God, that your spirit abides on the inside of them, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. God, I thank you for your love, oh God. I thank you for your life, oh God. I thank you for your word, God. You said be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, God. It is in you that we live, move, and have our being, God. I ask that you forgive our sins, oh God, knowingly and unknowingly, oh God. God, I ask that you open up the hearts of men, oh God. 
Allow them, oh God, to know, oh God, your voice, oh God. For according to your word, you said that my sheep know my voice and the strangers shall they not follow, oh God. God, I ask, oh God, that you allow these people, oh God, to worship you in spirit and in truth, oh God. God, this is a word, God. God, I ask that you don't let them go, oh God, oh God, until they give you an answer, oh God. God, allow them, oh God, another opportunity to choose, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. God, we know that judgment is coming, God. God, and when judgment, when judgment comes, God, we know that you're going to judge righteously, oh God. God, and I ask that you allow uh, your people to be ready, oh God. Your people will be ready, God. I decree and declare, oh God, that your will shall be done, oh God, across the land, oh God, across the nations, oh God. I renounce anything that's not like you, oh God. Any imps, oh God, that tries to come up against this word, this video, this message in anybody's homes, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. God, we thank you, oh God, for according to your word, you said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, oh God, but against principality, spiritual wickedness, darkness, sorcery, and places of this present world, oh God. God, I thank you, oh God. Oh God, for we know that this fight is fixed, oh God. God, you said that the weapons may form, but they won't prosper, God. God, I thank you for revelation, oh God. God, I thank you, oh God, for exposing the enemy, oh God. I thank you, oh God, for alignment, God. I thank you for doing it and doing it and doing it again, oh God, over and over, oh God. I thank you for your love, oh God. I thank you for your never-changing love, oh God. Never-ending love. I thank you for being a provider, oh God. I thank you, oh God, for being a doctor, oh God. Being a preacher, oh God. Being a teacher, oh God. I thank you for being a lawyer, oh God. I thank you for being all that your people need, oh God, and more. God, I ask that you have your way. God, I thank you, oh God, for your presence, oh God. I ask that you meet them where they are, oh God. Even through the night, speak to the people that you want to speak to, oh God. Speak to the people that will let you in. God, I ask that you break down the follow ground in the hearts of people that have hard hearts, oh God. Oh God, and allow them to plant, uh, oh God, again. Allow them to feel again, oh God. Allow them to not just exist, oh God, but allow them to live, oh God. Oh God, you say he who the sun sets free, God, is truly free indeed, oh God. God, we thank you for your presence, oh God. We thank you for your love, oh God. We thank you for your strength, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I speak a special prayer, oh God, over the children of this nation, oh God. God, and I pray, oh God, that you grab a hold of the seed, oh God, that legacy is built and established, oh God, not just in the natural, oh God, but in the Holy Ghost, oh God. Take them back to you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, and I ask that you raise them up, God, as the pillars of of this earth is going away, oh God. God, we need a new cycle of your spirit, God. God, send revival, oh God, down in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I ask that you bring the kingdom, oh God, back to its rightful for place, oh God. God, I thank you for all that you are. We thank you for kingdom marriages, oh God. We thank you for kingdom families, oh God. We thank you for kingdom jobs, God. We thank you for kingdom uh, uh, homes, oh God. We thank you for kingdom churches, oh God. God, we thank you, oh God, for alignment, God. We thank you for all that you are, all that you're going to do, oh God. God, I ask that you have your way in every way, God. Oh God, and I bless your name, oh God. I worship you and I praise you, oh God. And it is so and so it is. In the name of Yahuwah HaMashiach. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Y'all, I love y'all so much. So, 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 so much. I'm so full, y'all. I'm so full, y'all. I'm so, 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 so full. And when I get off here, I probably go in again. I'm so full and I pray that somebody's gotten something out of this video. And I pray that y'all heard my heart. I pray that y'all heard the heart of the Father. And I pray that y'all have seen him and not me because I'm a nobody. I'm a nobody. And for him to use me in any way, that's a blessing. That's an honor. That's a blessing. That's an honor. And I'm so grateful that he would even he would even pull on me or tug on my heart in, in my heart space, even in such time as this. When the world is in its chaos and it's doing where what it wants to, the way that it wants to, choose ye this day who you're going to serve, y'all. For God you live, for God you die. And understand that he can do something with your broken pieces, but you got to give them to him. He can do something with your, with your emptiness, but you got to give it to him. Allow him to fill the voice, not the cares of this world. The Bible says, set your affections on things above and not on things of this world. And when you fill your, your spirit up with the things of him, I promise you, all of the noise from the world will get weaker and weaker and his voice will ring strong in your life. And that's what you want. You want his voice to ring strong in your life because when his voice rings strong in your life, now you're being led by him and not led by it. It's a saying that says you go to who you put your trust in. 
When you deal with situations, you go sometimes to your girlfriend, to your boyfriend, to your mom, to your dad, to whomever, to your homegirl, to your homeboy. God's saying, I just want you to come to me. Come to me, all ye heavy laden and burdened, and I will give you rest. He said, for my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. Y'all, he's available to him. He said, y'all know that song? I'm going to sing this. I can't sing, but I'm going to just try to sing. You know that song? They say, I emptied up my cup so that you could fill it up. My hands, my ears, my voice, my eyes, so you can use the measure, please. I can't even remember. Emptied up my cup so that you can fill it up. Now I'm free and I just want to be more available to you. Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say to use me, Lord. To show someone the way and enable me to say dun, dun, dun. my storage is empty. And I am available, absolutely, to you. Somebody, y'all listen to that outside of this. It's going to sound way, way better. But Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say do. Use me, Lord, to show someone the way and enable me to say my storage is empty and I am available to you. And I think it's now I emptied up my cup so that you could fill it up. My hands, my ears, my voice, my eyes. I might be singing it wrong. So you can use the magic. I'm singing it wrong. You please. Now I emptied up my cup so that you can fill it up. Now I can hear the cries of sinners, but can I wipe away their tears? Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say you use me, Lord. To show someone the way and enable me to say my storage is empty and I am available. My storage is empty and I am available. My storage is empty and I am available to you. Say it one more time. Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. You're a mess, Ashley. I'll do what you say do. Use me, Lord. To show someone the way. And enable me to say. My storage is empty. And I am available. My storage is empty. And I am available. My storage is empty. 
and I am available to And that's all guys asking. My storage is empty and I am available. My storage is empty and I am available. My storage is empty and I am available to I love you guys so much. Be available to God. He is available to us anytime. It is 122 in the morning and I promise you he is still available. I love you guys so much. Do so share this video with somebody who might need it. Um, and if you're not following me on YouTube where God has been pouring out to me, follow me on YouTube under Crown Up Danny Royal. One of the two. Just put them in there. And um, I love you guys so much. And I'll leave it in the comment section below as well. Crown Up, you guys. Be blessed in Jesus' name.